Listen, took a look at the building and it does not look good. Mean it could use a bit of paint and spackle? I mean, it's a damn fortress. High walls, guards at the gate, armed men everywhere. We could never sneak in, and fighting our way in won't work. Menga would have had plenty of time to escape. What do you suggest? Take these shackles. Put them on me. Mind explaining what this is all about? Think. Bring the hunters the vile Triss Marigold. They won't just open the gate for you. They're likely to let you present her to Menga personally. No way. Too risky. Dandelion's life's on the line. Series two. No such thing as too risky. Triss, think about it. Really want to walk into the lion's den of your own free will? And in chains? Yes. No. Can't allow it. Nice of you to worry. But I've made my decision. And I won't change it. Fine. Let's say they take the bait. What then? We go in, I put a sword to Menga's throat and ask him where Dandelion is? Might not work. Manga's scum, but you have to admit, death doesn't scare him. Always found that annoying in fanatics. So we gotta trick him into talking. Any ideas? Uh, maybe tell him you have information about the Lodge. Or about Philippa. Even better, he hates her most of all. You'll think of something. What about the treasure? If we learn anything, great. If not... Thought you need coin from Dijkstra to help the other mages. True, I do. Lots of ways to get gold, though. It's just not the most important thing now. I want to thank you. Come on. Anyone would do this. No. Not anyone. Stop. It doesn't befit a sorceress to blush. Still got a bad feeling about this. But tough. Let's go. Geralt, remember, I can take care of myself. What are you talking about? The Hunters. They won't treat me like a lady, but I'll survive. Might hurt a bit, but... Siri, she's what matters. Do what you need to do, no matter what happens. Can't promise that. I'm still asking you to, all right? Hmm, all right. What do you want? Here for my reward. On the Alpha? For a witch. Recognize who I got? It's Triss Marigold. Marigold? Come in then. Well, well. Triss Marigold. Giving up drowners for sorceresses. Pays better. It's cause they do more harm. What's a drowner do? Pull the odd fisherman from his boat, but the witches? They murder kings, scheme, start wars. Don't forget turning your cow's milk sour straight out of the udder. Ah! You're done jesting, Marigold. For good. Put her in a cell. Not so fast. I hand her over to Menga himself, or not at all. You reckon we don't know what to do with this witch? Let go, you bastard! Vulgar tongue's got no place being in such a pretty mouth. I guess we'll have to rip it out. Try to loosen it if I were you. Might learn something interesting. For instance? For instance, where Philippa Eilhart's hiding. I'll get you for this, you- Shut your gob, Ginger Ho! And you spit it out! Where's Eilhart? Thought I made myself clear. I'll only talk to Menga. Menga don't talk to the likes of you. Well then you be sure to tell him I came by. With my friend Marigold. Fine, grab her and come with me. But be sure to stay right close. Here's where we split up. Go see Menga. Marigold will be next door. You can't have her until I get- You don't set the terms here. Dirk, you know what to do. You won't get a word out of me. Not you, not him. Oh, play it tough, eh? Just you wait. Fine, take her. I'd rather she didn't interrupt my conversation. But hands off, don't touch her. Why? Feel sorry for the bitch. No, couldn't give a shit about her. But if I don't get what I want from Menga, I'll want to sell her to someone else. 
Don't want you damaging the goods. Keen nose for enterprise. You'd make a great madam. Don't you worry. Mengra will give you your coin, and Marigold will get what she deserves. Come on, witch. Show you the wonders a pair of pliers can work. You'd be surprised. I believe I told you not to let anyone in. Unless they had information concerning Philippa Isleheart. This witcher says he's got just that. Anyone can climb that. We'll start with your pinky nail. Nah, let's go for your ring finger. This little piggy went to market. But it's not that easy to bring us Triss Merigold. Is that who I hear? Very well. I'll go see her shortly. But first, let us talk. Sit. Sit. Have a drink, Witcher. A 1261 vintage. Year of the Massacre of Sintra. Ah, stop squirming. <laughs> this little piggy went home! Kurt, please see why Miss Merigold squeals so convincingly. Perhaps she needs something. Still haven't paid me for the witch, yet your hunters are already torturing her. What of it? You're damaging goods you haven't paid for yet. This little piggy had roast beef. This little piggy had none. Don't worry, you shan't leave empty-handed. I shall pay you twice the usual reward for Merigold. Awfully generous. Why? Well, you've turned in your lover. The emotional trauma it must entail. You deserve compensation. You seem well informed. So you have to know Triss betrayed me first. Used me as a pawn in the Lodge's game. As I see it, she's getting what she deserves. Be brave, dear. Just one more fingernail, and we'll move on to the other hand. This little piggy went, wee, wee, wee. Go! Bitch bit me. Oh, the bitch bites. Let's put a collar on her. Dimeritium ought to calm her down. You surprise me, Geralt. Perhaps we can deal after all. So, you know something about Philippa. What do you want in return? It's simple. Free Dandelion. A degenerate bard for information about Philippa. Tempting offer, I admit. But I must say no. You see, I have a magnificent execution plan for Dandelion in Oxenford. A breaking wheel, flaying alive, and so forth. It should work wonders for the mores of the academic youth and townsfolk. When's this morally instructive spectacle due to take place? When I issue the order, in person, Dandelion will remain in the dungeons beneath Temple Isle until then. So sorry I cannot be of help. Perhaps we can agree different terms. But first, let's see how Miss Marigold fears it. It's grown suspiciously quiet in there. No need. I'm fine. Well, mostly fine. Should heal in time for my wedding. Sorry. Should have gotten you out sooner. Don't apologize. 
I knew what I was signing up for. How do I say this? That was just a bit premature. What do you mean? Mangus said Dandelion's locked up on Temple Isle, dungeon right under the temple. He was planning to execute him in Oxenfurt. Also said they'd only let Dandelion out of his cell once Menga gave the order, in person. Shit. I'm sorry, Geralt. I should have thought it through, but when I saw him, I... After what they subjected you to, no need to explain. He... he'd never have agreed to help us. Even if I... I know. Let's not dwell on this. We should think about what to do next. Dandelion's safe, for now. Though out of reach. We don't stand a chance of breaking him out. Temple Isle's impregnable. And Menga's not likely to order his transfer. Or anyone's for that matter. Let's search his corpse. Right. Could find something that'll help us. Something sewn in the lining. What is it? The key to a vault. Here. Give it to Dijkstra, with my regards. Breaking Dandelion out starting to look like our last option. Geralt, you know me. I'm all for finding solutions. I don't give up easily. But in this case, there's no hope. Not a shred. No one escapes the dungeons beneath the temple. And no one's ever been broken out. Anyone actually tried? They've tried, Geralt. I've tried, to be exact. Shortly before you arrived. It almost cost me my life. Menga's the only one who could have ordered Dandelion's release. Yes. Or someone who looks exactly like him. A Doppler? Mm-hmm. Your old friend Dudu Bybervelt impersonated the halfling merchant. Dandelion claimed he seemed more real than the original. So much so, Vivaldi gave him a loan of several thousand crowns without batting an eye. Yeah, except Dudu's in hiding right now. Priscilla might know something, though. Fingers crossed. Listen, there is one other thing I wanted to talk about, but not here, not now. Come by when you have a moment. I'd appreciate it. All right, we need to get out of here. This is where we split up. But first, let's burn this shack down. Agreed. We've left too much evidence. Yeah, but I also need to blow off some steam. That should do it. I'm going. You should too. Mm -hmm. Not about to use the teleport though. See you, Tris. Mr. Roven wants a word. Impatient old bastard. What? Nothing. Be there soon. Who do I spy? Why, it's Geralt of Rivia. <sighs> Will you stop following me already? Soon as you tell me where my treasure is. Me and Menga didn't see eye to eye. How badly? Badly. I suppose that explains the smoke. My treasure's not in there, is it? Burning with the witch hunters. Didn't see it anywhere, and 20 tons of gold is hard to miss. You mean to say you've come to me empty-handed? First off, you came to me. Second, I do have something in my hand. The key to a vault, founded on Menga. A vault? That I need to find on my own? You've not made things much easier for me. That's all you're gonna say? No wry remark, no scintillating joke. <laughs> you want a knee slapper? Fine, I'll tell you one. Ready? You lied to me. What? You knew from the start who robbed me, but you didn't deign to share that information with me. No, I didn't. But I did deign to help you find your treasure, so stop moaning. I jest you not, Geralt. You abused my trust. I can live with that. This time, yes, you'll live. And now, time to settle things. That a threat? Quite the contrary. You helped me, Witcher. So in spite of everything, you've earned your reward. Don't bother. I know what happened to Dandelion. Then take my coin. I always pay my debts, even to liars. And a final humble plea. Don't try to fool me again. Ever. We 
three minute reacher. Now, I'm curious something mighty. How is it you were off the same bloody night horse and tried to kill me? It was chance, honest. I was at the brothel. I've witnesses. I don't doubt you found some witnesses, but I do doubt the bit about chance. Know what? Shy conversation, this. So much blethering, we've got nowhere. Lad, you have a chat with him. It's simple. I want to know where all son is. I've not betrayed you. Not ever. No. No. I know nothing. Help me find Junior. I'm about to send my lads around Horson's hideouts. Won't say no to a witch's blade. Leave my men, take the water junior, and drag him out of his hidey hole. Horson can't die until I've talked to him. My lads are hot headed and I like him like that. Want to rein them in? Do so on your own. Now, I suspect Junior's hiding at his casino in Gildorf. My lads will be there. Find him. Double chase. Set to go anytime. Ready. Right on. We go on your mark. Let's go then. Leave it at me. Take him from the back. Screaming downstairs. It's all right now. Will you help me? You're not hurt all that bad. Let's talk first. Why are you here? Uh, what's it look like? I came here to sit and think. God. All right. Clever and tough's not working for me. They took me for one of Bedlam's moles. Are you? Well, kinda. Yeah. So what have you? Kinda learned. Horson's working hand in glove with the Redanians. I don't know the details, but he's on their side. And that's all I know. Take care of yourself. Thanks. Okay. I'll lay low until things settle down. Bedlam will learn you help me. See him. He's sure to reward you. The man we're due to meet is probably waiting for ready. Ready? My contact awaits at the chess club. Let's get this over with. Something's not right. Let's see what. They say it's the game of kings. That chess teaches one to think strategically. 
What a load of rubbish. Both sides have identical pieces. The rules stay invariably the same. How does this mirror real life? Witcher. Do you know why I play chess? I have no idea. I play chess to reveal the game's secret. Blood thumps inside these chessmen. You need only listen, and you will hear. Dub dub. Dub dub. Dub dub. A heart pumping with life. I take a pawn, and I hear flesh being rent. I win a piece, and I hear screams from the depths of its bowels. I want to break the chessmen open. Squeeze the truth from them. Do you see what I mean? No, I don't. <laughs> you do not, because you are not a king. Pawns see only their comrades at their sides and their foes across the field. The king has a different view of the chessboard. His greatest foes surround him. His own chessmen might trap him. And that is check and death. You see, Witcher, chess is the art of sacrificing your own pieces. Now do you see? I think I do now. Unimportant. Let us speak. Why have you brought the Witcher here? I think he'd best explain. I'm looking for Cyprian Wiley, Orson Jr. I know Redania supports him. Why do you seek him? It's personal. Fair enough. I'll not pry. I have placed Junior in a mansion in Oxenfurt. Very few know this. They'll not let you in unannounced. Thus, you must tell them you've come about the new whores. Junior constantly requests fresh women. I hear he doesn't treat them well. I appreciate the gesture, Your Majesty. A king should be severe towards his foes, generous to his friends. Apart from which, I'll expect you to return the favor. And also, Junior has lost his purpose. The Big Four is no more. I shall contact you to collect in due course. Now go. And you, Roach. We must speak another time. Radovid's sinking ever deeper into madness as I see it. I know where to find Junior. Don't really care beyond that. Geralt, come to think of it, I too wanted to ask a favor. I have a terrible problem with Vess. Need someone to talk some sense into her. Come see me at the camp. I'll tell you more. Let me think about it. See you, Roach.